This has to be one of the easiest mods that you can do for your PC. Let's check it out. Let's take a closer look at the monitor. On the back, you have one Type-C port and the rear mounting hole. On the side, you have another Type-C port. Next to the Type-C port is the status LED. You will notice it starts up red and transitions to green once it has fully connected to the system. And further to that is the brightness adjustment. This is a SIM ejection tool. This did not come part of the package, but it's perfect for this adjustment. Now, what I would recommend is before you mount this in your case, adjust the brightness to the exact level that you want, else it's gonna be quite tricky later on. So the way this works is once you press the button in, the monitor is going to decrease in brightness and then reset to its brightest level. This is what it looks like. There we go. Now we have the brightness level set to maximum. Part of the package, we also received a desktop stand. It's a fairly simple plastic stand, nothing too fancy. It has some adjustment options. And it fits on like so. Now there's a few ways that you can use this monitor. This is one of the options. You can easily have this set up by your desk. I like the steel case. This monitor is available in two different sizes a five inch and a seven inch. This is the seven inch model. Now with regards to your mounting options, the included desktop stand is one option. Another mounting option available is using the included bracket. You would attach this side to the radiator and the monitor will be secured to this side using the provided screw. For my use case, I don't plan on using the stand or the mounting bracket because I will be mounting this flush against the back of the case. I also will not be using the included USB Type-C cable because I want to try and hide this as much as possible. So I picked up a right angle USB Type-C cable. Sometimes things just work out so perfectly. So the cable is now routed to the back of the case and there's a grommet just towards the top. So now I can pull the cable through that and the rest can be neatly tucked away here. I've currently got it installed this way, but I'm thinking I don't like how the cable is looking towards the bottom. So I'm going to rotate the screen so we can better hide this cable. Okay, now let's tidy up the cables. So at the back of the case, I have just enough slack so I can pull this back in. And finally, we just gotta tidy up these extra cables here. This gets neatly tucked away. And finally, we need to change the orientation of the screen. All we're gonna do is go on a display, which is under system settings. Identify your screen. So in my case, two is going to be the one on the installed inside the case. And I'm going to change this. Here we go. And select to keep changes. So we have two resolution options. This is their seven inch variant. And it goes up to about 60 Hertz. There's a few more tweaks I'm gonna set. First off, under your taskbar settings, under taskbar behaviors, we are gonna change this so the taskbar does not show up on the second screen. Perfect. Next, we're gonna set a live wallpaper. Overall, I can recommend this mod to anyone out there who's looking to customizing their PC and making it their own. One of the standout features to me was all I needed was a single USB port and I was able to power the monitor as well as send the data to it. Overall, I am super happy with how this mod turned out and I would recommend anyone give this a try. Guys, thanks for watching. This is TJ and I will catch you on the next one.